only thing I can do is listen what you said to me and listen what I've heard. But that's conversation and that's um, what they say happened. I mean, I don't know if it's true or not true. Um, I like Spence. I respect Spence. I know he always ready um, for any challenge. Um, but I, I just think, I just have some suspicions about this whole thing, to be honest with you. All-time great B-Hop said he's very suspicious how the news came out about Errol Spence. He says if Errol Spence really tore his retina, God bless him, a speedy recovery, and all that. But he says he's not that gullible. He's been in the business a long time. He knows there could be other reasons why Errol Spence pulled out the fight. He also says he don't know if it's true or false. He just thought it was very suspicious how it came out and came out of nowhere and nobody knew about the injury. Those are B-Hop's words and I'm gonna leave it there. He also said a torn retina is nothing to play with. Tony Bellew said Alexander Uzik will be the best boxer that Anthony Joshua will ever face in his lifetime. And that includes Tyson Fury, the unified heavyweight champion, will defend his titles against Uzik September 25th. Now, I'm not going to deny Uzik is a great fighter, undisputed champion, a cruiserweight, Olympic gold medalist, but still unproven as a heavyweight. I'm not buying him as being a heavyweight yet. I just don't see the punching power. I'm not talking about devastating punching power because Evander Holyfield coming for cruiserweight didn't have devastating punching power, but he had enough to keep the heavyweights off of him. And I don't even see that from Uzi yet. And I thought he should have stopped and took care of Chizora, who was out on his feet, out of gas. He was ready to go. Now, Uzi being the best natural boxer that Joshua faced, doesn't mean he's the toughest. Experts believe and a boxer fan like myself, I expect Anthony Joshua to take care of Uzik. But his toughest fight, I think, will be Tyson Fury. And some boxer fans will say, if Uzik's a better boxer than Tyson Fury, why would Tyson Fury be a tougher opponent for Anthony Joshua than Uzik? The answer is, Tyson Fury's size, and I think he, at this moment, he has a little more pop than Uzik has. I still think Joshua and Uzik is an intriguing fight, and I think Joshua is going to surprise a lot of people with his boxing skills who think he's just a robot. Pacquiao said even though he's not fight Errol Spence, Ugas will not be an easy fight. He respects Uzik, but he does say Ugas is WBA champion because they gave him the belt. He said, me and Uzik will settle this inside the ring. Pacquiao added, he's the type of fighter that you don't take lightly because if you take him lightly, he'll take advantage of it. Pacquiao said he doesn't care if he's a champion or challenger going into this fight. He said August 21st, after the fight, we will see who's the real champion. I think Freddie Roach and Manny Pacquiao have a chip on the shoulder against the WBA. They feel like WBA should have took the title and gave the Ugas, and I think they'll be motivated going into the ring against Ugas. Coach Fortune of Pacquiao's camp said this is a six round fight. It go as long as Manny Pacquiao wants it to go. I give Uzik eight rounds. I think he could go eight rounds and I think Manny Pacquiao will stop him. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Jay Beasy, I'm gone.